So I actually bothered to look up what I was doing. What should I do today? Because I had no memory of anything. So I know what I need to do now. So I was right in the fact that I have to go through the lava caves. And... No fish doll. I also need to check the calendar because I forget what in-game day it is. Okay, so it's the day after an event. Good, good, good. So I say we take care of the garden. And then we go back to the fire caves. So, let's take a look in there. Oh god, there's so much that I didn't put away. Um, okay, that can go away. That, I guess I'll put that away. Oh, that goes in the other thing. Right. I'm probably gonna want to wear that. Oh. Alright, let's see. Because would that be better than... I gotta think on that. Don't I have any... Oh, I do have an invisible stone. There we go. I was like, I thought I got one of those. Again, some people play their whole game trying to get this exact stone, and I have six of them. Just wild. Alright. So, let's get what we need to take care of the garden. And then onward we can go. Yeah. Um, let's also drop off some other important things. That can go in here, that can go in here. And that's that. Okay. Oh boy, there's a lot. Um, all right, I'm gonna equip this guy for the moment, just to kind of get an idea as to what's going on. Okay, the pink cats are ready, but it's the cherry grass I need for the stuff. Um, that's all at four, so I don't need to redo any of that. These guys, however, do. So those guys I'm going to put away. Get you out. We'll finish clearing up this yard. Take care of our pets. And then... Oop. There we go. Nope. Oh, I'm out of water. That's why. <sighs> I really need to invest in making a bigger, better watering can. Because I, at this rate, I'm thinking that might be the best idea. But yeah, once this is all taken care of, we'll go back and see if I can do any more damage with that harp thing I made. Alright, run in, drop this off. Keep that. Put the grass away. I just wanna oh, unequip. Um that guy goes away. I'm just gonna get rid of the iron and such that I have. Like keeping the antidote grass is a good idea, but I don't need that. Oh, I can feel a sneeze coming on. I... I don't think... I don't think I found the rune crystal that I needed. Because I think what I need to do... Is I need to get to the end of the fire dungeon to get it. I have... One of them already, I think. Or maybe I have three of them and this is the fourth one. All I know is I need all of these... Oh god, yeah, even that on full. Yeah, that's without light. We'll do that. There we go. 
Um, but I know I need all of them to get Lady Ventuswill back to max health. Because she's currently dying if I don't do something. And she was trying to get me to not... ...do anything with the rune crystals for some reason. And I don't know why. I'm pretty convinced, though, that the story is that all of the... All of the people around town who have lost their memories used to be friends of Lady Ventuswill, who sacrificed themselves to help her generate room crystals or something. But I've got nothing to back that up on. Oh! Alright, well, I'm keeping that, because that looks like that's in good condition. Um... Alright, uh... Right. Nope, that's the wrong button. This is the button. I'm still not used to the controls. Um, put that away. I guess I can just drop those off. Um, let's look inside and toss what I don't need. Keep the antidote grass. And that can go. I still need the shears. Because if I don't cut down Mulberry's hair, he looks weird. Right, I wanted to give them pets. Okay. Yay! Okay. Okay. Okay, that's going good there. We're stabby. Okay. <sighs> I still wonder if I should be taking stabby instead. Okay. I pressed okay. the wrong buttons. It's fine. Okay. I can always get more if I really need it out there. Nope. Well, all right, tag along. And tag along. I, you know, every now and again, trying to pet people with scythes works. I sort of. Do I want to use up those rune flowers? I don't know if I want to use those rune flowers. Um, remove that from the inventory. Drop off everything else I don't need. Oh. Hey, anything that helps him fight better, I guess. I don't know, I feel like in the other one there was, like, better benefits to if you had shaved him before battle. Or, no, if you didn't shave him before dinner, or before dinner, before battle. But, <laughs> bless you. Richard's dying. It's fine. Um, all right, uh, okay, ugh, all right, equip this, and I think what I want to equip is actually this, yeah, because even though it takes the pendant off, um, but I think I'm also going to do... So I don't need to be carrying this much stuff with me. Um, I'm gonna put those away, put those away, keep that, move that up. And swap that for that. Yeah. I have to keep the brush on me because that's how I would tame wild monsters if I wanted to have any of them as pets. So... But I think I have what I need. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Margaret. Have you gotten used to this town yet? How is it? Do you still get lost? Um, only when I'm looking for specific people do I get lost. Don't walk around late at night, okay? Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm fine. Yeah, don't worry. It's just our resident town ghost, I think, that's causing issues or something. Um, okay. Yeah, we need to go to the ruins. And we need to work our way up. Eh, that's not bad. I can definitely say I feel like I'm doing more damage. So... It still blows that upgrading the one, though, didn't give me anything I wanted, but... Oh, 
Oh. That's why I didn't get rid of all my swords. Because I needed them to chop this down. Oh well. Ah, uh, I'll take what I can. That's why I kept... Alright, whatever. Okay, so essentially I can't... I can't now use... Rune flowers, but I guess it's fine. Oh, I cannot. Oh, I cannot hit these things. Well, I definitely think I'm doing more damage. Um. It does look nice outside. There's no harm in me standing still right now in this game. Because the more I stand still, the more RP I begin to generate again. At least if I get more... If I get more silver, I could probably make something that'll behoove me better. Alright. So this, I think, was the only way? Keep moving. I don't need to stick around here. I know, not particularly great. Excuse me, everybody. I don't need the rubies that bad. Oh, I was thinking that was... Oh! I don't know why this was here. But... I'm glad I got it, I guess. Um... I guess I'll save it again. <laughs> sure. I accidentally pressed the return home instead of what I thought was dodge. I don't remember what dodge was. Ooh, I need that. Keep, 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 run. Ow. Just keep going, just keep going. Yeah, Ultra Dodge escape from the dungeon. I know that there is a way to do it, I just don't know what it is. Girl! Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Just keep running. Just keep... Just keep going. Not ideal, but if I want to get there... This one doesn't look like it's locked. Oh, oh it's um. Thought I hit it. All right. I guess we'll just get out of here. I could realistically use that vine. Um. Okay, so I think that button got pressed. Go up. Oh, this these guys I have to fight. All right. Can my pets please distract these things for two seconds? Because I am getting knocked around consistently. Why am I getting... Ugh, why am I getting knocked around like this? Alright, fire doesn't do much for me. Oh god, get out of here. Hello. Okay. See, it's not doing anything if I can't... <sighs> At least I'm doing more damage on these things. Thank God. Oh, that's why they're not doing anything. Because somebody keeps knocking them out. Not doing much against her, but I'll take it as a win. Okay, is that everything? Oh, thank God. All right. Move. Oh, ow. Oh, stop. This is literally just me tanking hits over and over and over again. Stop. Okay, keep moving. I thought... I thought I could go around them. Alright. Oh no, I've got to fight these things. Okay. Ow, stop. 
Well, at least my defense goes up every time I take a hit. <sighs> yeah, I can't just walk around this for whatever reason. Well, at least I can shoot from here. Somewhat. I really thought that there was a dodge button. Maybe it's not, maybe it's five that has a dodge button and I'm just not remembering right. You found something over here? Where? Excuse me, Lionflower. Where? Oh! Um, I'm gonna keep that in case I need the RP. something. Oh, it's a rock. Yeah. Alright, well, first off, we're saving it. That's the first thing. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is where the boss is. I've never gotten this far, so I already take that as a win. Um, I'm definitely going to need more RP before this fight. Um... Yeah, that's, that was just all iron. Okay, fine. Well, at least that paralysis thing is kind of paying off. Um, what do I have? Why would I... Oh, I might want to throw it on something. I don't know. What does this do? Just increases my health. Great. What does this do? Um, increases my fire resistance and gives me- okay. Guess we're gonna eat this then. Cause that- Alright, eat it. Save it again. Just for good measure. Can't- can't be too careful. Okay. Oh, pray for me. Alright. <laughs> Is this... Is this just secretly Chrono Trigger? Do I need to destroy the left one first? Or the right one first? Okay, well, what's... Okay, so it resummon those. It is this one that heals it, just like Chrono Trigger. This is really just a Chrono Trigger boss. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is just the boss from Chrono Trigger. I'll take that. There's gotta be- aww. That was it? That was it? I went through all this. The whole rest of the dungeon was harder than this. Alright. Well, Rune Sphere Ahoy. If I just take this to Obsidian Mansion... Okay, so Obsidian Mansion's where we got the girl, so why are we taking on the Rune Spheres to Obsidian? Oh, I'm sorry, Mulberry, you've got a cold, you're screwed. It's fine. Well, guess we're just gonna go ahead and save that. Yeah, no, everything else prior to this point was way harder. <laughs> Getting here was harder than actually than actually fighting the boss. Okay. <sighs> it's Ape Escape all over again. Um, I felt like there was something else I wanted to do before I went there. But for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. I'm going to keep the paralysis ring on because I don't know what's going to happen at Obsidian Mansion. Alright. Oh! Oh! Good, now I have a teleportation point back there. I de I'll take that. Alright, um, call the airship, and I guess we go to Obsidian Mansion. Um, I should... I should get the copper. I don't need it, but what if there's an invisible stone in it? 
There wasn't. I don't think I need the logs, because I'm just powering through the story right now. I think it's in the... I think it's in the back half of Obsidian Mansion that I have to take this. Just to see. Oh yeah, this thing. The mini-boss. Goodbye. The mini-boss is kind of easy. This is because this is an old, old area. Either way, I can either fight the previous boss again and get more items, or I just take it here and do what I need to. Ah! I should place the rune sphere over here. Right there? Yep. And now we made this area all runey. Okay, so this is the third one. Good, that's the third one. Freya! What? I finally found you. I've been looking all over for you. What happened? Venti woke up. Oh, okay. Good, that's what we wanted to happen, but I have a very bad feeling about this for some reason. She did? Yes. Uh-huh. Though, she's still a little woozy. Hmm. The rune fear... Bleh. The rune spheres, I guess it's actually working. I wanted to let you know as soon as possible, but it took me forever to find you. Okay, well, at least Venti finally woke up and all Frey is crying. Her bestie woke up and is okay. Oh. Well, at least Doug's not here yelling at me for this. Um, I mean, I guess realistically I should send my pets home because I don't think I need them right now. Hey, I'll take the level ups. Take that. I guess might as well heal him. No harm in that. I can use the rest of my RP throughout the day to... There we go. To craft more stuff. But yeah, apparently all I needed was just new equipment. It's a big surprise. All I needed was new equipment. Oh, no, I guess there's a rock there. Okay, you guys can go home. You guys did good. If I need your help again, I'll go get you. Alright, I'm just gonna go... see her with my weapon out, I guess. Who on earth are you? Just some random soldier? I went fishing by the waterfall in Yorkmere Forest. I caught a round stone there. It doesn't sound like... I don't know. I had a dream where Vishnu was talking about ghosts. Wait, is this a dream? Oh, Quarka. <laughs> Venti- Oh god, Doug's here. What she said? Oh, Freya. Uh, Doug? What's going on here? Nope, put the sword away, Doug. We've had- we talked about this. I know that you think all dragons are evil for some reason. I think it relates to the second game or something. I don't know. Hmm. Ventus will answer my question. Why? Why did you kill everyone? Now hold on a second. She didn't, as far as I'm aware, she didn't kill anyone. And I'm the only person here with amnesia that's unrelated to whatever the heck Ventus Will did when she wiped everybody's memories of something. Doug, calm down. Freya, step back. But, okay, look, I can't let you guys kill each other. I mean, clearly Doug doesn't die. We see him in the fifth game, but... Doug has something to say to me. Please allow him to plead his case. <sighs> Fine. Doug, explain to me what you're talking about, if you would. Why? Hey. Why did you kill my parents? My whole tribe? Huh? Hmm? Doug, I have no idea what you're talking about. Damn it. Don't act all innocent! You did it! I know you did! Listen to me. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. 
You... Mm. I know everything. You're acting all big and selfless to fool everyone in town, right? Huh? Well, I don't believe a word of it. Do you realize how much danger your lies are causing? Whoa, I felt like your eyeball did something weird there. Causing good people like Freya? Doug, please. I will 100% do cat pictures in a second. I did upload more, so I do have them. But I want to finish the cutscene. Hmm? You call it friendship, but all you ever wanted to do is use people for your own selfish ends. She didn't... I'm the only person in town she drops the I'm so regal facade with. No, I'm just doing it because I'm her friend and I care about her, and she didn't ask me to go for the rune sphere. She told me not to, and then I went and did it anyway. And it wasn't reverse psychology because she was just literally dying and in pain and I couldn't stand it. I could have screwed off and done town events and not ever once done it. <sighs> Doug! <sighs> That's who Ventus Will really is. That's what I was told. Okay, but here's the real question. Who told you this? Did you ever, like, vet your sources? Check where they're getting their information? I know this seemed like a completely unrelated thought, but um, I was having an argument with somebody about, like, whether or not pit bulls as a breed are inherently dangerous, and their response was to show me this study that was done at a hospital where they asked uh, dog bite victims, like, what dog it was that bit them when they came in. And while the study was good and real, and like this, the, the nature of the study itself was pretty solid, there were a few different aspects of it that still made it a fallacy. For example, it was done at only one rural hospital. They asked the patient what, um, what dog it was that bit them. So think about it this way, right? If you have a golden retriever and it, it bites somebody, maybe it bites your cousin or whatever, um, and it's, like, that bad that the cousin has to go to the hospital, are you going to admit that it was your golden retriever that did it, knowing full well it could get your golden retriever put down? Or are you just going to say it was some random stray pit bull or something? Like, I know that there is no, like, you know, that, that with the hospital they're not supposed to, like, call and report those things, but are you really going to say this? But there's another thought that needs to be considered into it besides just asking people, like, what dog bit them. Uh, you have to think about, like, the size of the dog, right? So uh, chihuahuas are known for being particularly mean and a little aggressive. Um, if a chihuahua bites you and, like, you, you maybe you're wearing, like, a wool shirt or whatever, what are the chances you're going to end up being hurt so bad that you go to the hospital over it versus if just a bigger dog in general were to bite you with the same amount of force. Not as likely. So, when you say, that's what I was told, where are, like, where is the, how well do you trust the person that gave you the information? How much, like, what information did they get? Where did they get it from? Is there a reason that maybe the logic behind it might be flawed, even if it's a reliable source? By the people of the sex empire. Um, well, I have a feeling the Empire... Oh, it's like the what's it called in the fifth game that I'm not going to say to spoil for anybody else. I've seen some super friendly pities and some insanely neurotic ones. Same with people. Yeah, they're all as different. And there are dogs that kind of look like a pit bull that people don't know the dog breeds. Exactly. So you're more likely to, you know, misreport what kind of dog bit you. So, like, if you don't know what the breed was, or if maybe the dog was, like, a mixed breed, but it looked like maybe it had a pit bull head, when really maybe, I don't know, it was, like, a Dalmatian and a Golden Retriever and a something else all mixed into one or something. It had, like, as a result, a weird-shaped head from that result, or, I don't know. But yeah, check your sources, and check the information on the sources. So, um, clearly the sex empire is not to be trusted. 
I see. So what is it you want to do then? Huh? What? What do you mean? Well, according to the sex, I'm your enemy. If so, you should have just attacked me, right? But you didn't. Because you're still uncertain. Probably because somebody like me keeps standing up for Lady Ventusville and putting all my hard effort into it. When you know me to be a good person, Doug, who actually cares about the well-being of everyone else in town. And also, I don't put on a facade that Lady Ventusville feels that she must in order to distance herself from the townspeople. So that this way she can actively protect, take on the role of the protector, but also know that she's going to be dying one day soon and doesn't want to break everyone's hearts. And make people learn to rely on themselves to solve their problems. God. Uh, that's not... Yes. That's why I'm asking. Do you believe what you heard from the Sex Empire? Will you use that sword to kill me and take your revenge? Or will you believe me and sheath your blade? Uh. What do you want to do? What do you think is the right thing to do? You're the one who has to decide. I... I, I... Yeah, I can't decide this for you, but I would really like for you to put away your blade. I... I have one question. Is it true what you said to Freya? Um, what were you eavesdropping on? That you can't leave Selfia? It's true. I can't leave Selfia. Okay, um, Doug, you're... Doug, sweetie, I love you, and I love that you're turning over a new leaf. But if you believe that Lady Ventuswill has been lying to you this entire time and has actually killed a whole bunch of people, um, why are you believing her now when she says that she can't leave Selfia? Why not ask her to prove that she can't leave Selfia? I, you know what? I'll let, I'll let Doug have it. Man. Oh, man! I'll let him take the voice line for that. What's the right thing to do here? At Saks, they convinced me that she killed them. You know, food for thought, Doug. Um, maybe the Sex Empire lied to you about who killed your family because they actually killed your family and they're trying to start some kind of a war in which all the dragons are dead so that this way they can, I don't know, rule the world or some stupid thing like that. But now she's saying she can't leave the town? So who's lying to me? Um, very clearly the sex empire, Doug. <sighs> Doug. I don't know the truth. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm inclined to say let's believe Lady Ventuswill. She hasn't lied to me this far, and she actually drops her facade. But I think what Doug needs to hear is I don't know the truth. But we should look for it together, is kind of the answer. But it's hard to believe that Venti's a murderer. Who cares about your opinion? Excuse me? <laughs> Go screw yourself, Doug. All right. You're going to take her side no matter what. Thanks. Hon honestly, no. Because, like, here's the thing. If you're a real friend, and your friend is doing something wrong and something toxic, you call them out for that. And, like, I get that there's definitely a, a power imbalance between Lady Ventuswill and Freya. Or, well, between Lady Ventuswill and even Doug. But it doesn't feel like there is that imbalance of power between Freya and Lady Ventusville, given that Freya is an Earthmate. But if I thought Venti were in the wrong, I'd use all my strength to stop her, like I have done with everything else this far. Even now, after everything she's done for me. Uh, but I don't believe it. I don't believe Venti's the one responsible for what you described. You heard her speak of the Guardians, 
After hearing all of that, can you still doubt her? I think the worst thing that Venti did was wipe the Guardian's memories, but that's a different thing. Isn't that why you came to see this for yourself? And held your blade all of this time? God. Uh. Venti tried to help a total stranger like me who literally landed on her head <laughs> and caused a lot of pain. She cheered me up when I was suffering and unable to remember anything about my past, which I still can't remember because I'm a Rune Factory protagonist, but that's a different thing. <laughs> Even though the Earthmates are the cause of her agony, and even when the fact that I am one was rubbing right up in her face, was rubbed right up in her face, ah, she still called me a, a friend. Oh, Freya, that's why I believe in Venti. And I want to believe in her. Because she's my friend. Uh, yeah. Power of friendship. Oh. I thought he was going to stab me. Okay. So we got the last of the rune sphere. Is this the one that I dropped out of that boat? This is a rune sphere? I honestly don't know. I don't know what's right and what's wrong. My head is completely messed up right now. I still don't really believe she wasn't the one. But at the same time, I don't think it's all a lie. I can't believe both, though. That's why I don't trust myself. I don't know what the right thing is to do. <sighs> but you, Freya? You've been trying to help everyone all this time. Even when I don't even know you guys, but sure. I don't have any trouble believing in you. Why isn't he romanceable? <laughs> Doug. So, you can do whatever you want with the Rune Sphere. Doug. <sighs> Thank you. Shut up. It's not for you. Ugh. <sighs> Whoa, first back shot we've seen of this guy. Damn it all. Anyway, I'll see you around. Um. <sighs> Alright, hold on, I gotta figure out how I'm voicing her dropping the facade. The sex are cruel and they play with people's lives. Venti, what kind of place is the sex empire? Oh, that's right, you wouldn't know. They're a huge empire bordering Norad. Wait a minute, wasn't Norad where the fifth game was? I don't... I think so. That terrifying land, the Sax Empire? They've invaded us in the past. So I say with complete certainty that they're a force to be reckoned with. The Sax Empire? Now, what did Doug give you? This stone. It's called a rune sphere. See? Here. It holds a tremendous power. I wonder how many runes are stored within that small stone. Yeah. If we place these where the guardians were found, those areas will fill with runes. You mean the rune spots? Hmm. So they can take the place of the guardians. That explains why I got some of my power back. But I had no idea such things existed. Me neither. I was honestly pretty surprised. Hmm. Where did you get it, exactly? I found it in Yorkmere Forest. I was chasing after a chip squeak. A chip squeak? Oh, I almost forgot. That chip squeak asked me to tell you something. At least I think it was a chip squeak. Oh? It said, they're all watching over you. Hmm? What do you mean? I, I don't know, I guess it means you're not alone? Right? Hmm. <laughs> I see. Well, you're fine, okay? I'm, I'm glad you're safe, you're healthy. Hey, Venti. Hmm? Yeah. I'm going to the tower. Freya. With the rune spheres, I can release the guardians and save you. That's why I have to go. I can't lose you, Venti. Freya. 
<laughs> You're quite a big talker. But it is rather encouraging, I can't deny. I knew you were the right choice. <laughs> Me the right choice, it's just happenstance. Way to go, Venti. I'm just gonna question it. I would like a little ego boost, thanks. Yes, of course. You're an incredible person, Freya. It's quite odd, though. For you to find something like a rune sphere around here, it makes no sense. Why is it just lying around? Because it got knocked out of the ship I was flying in. It's truly astounding, honestly. Thank you, Freya. I'm proud to count you as a friend. Oh, Venti. Freya. Let me ask you once again. I want you to save Leon. Will you release him? Will you release the last guardian? You bet. Leave it to me. I will succeed. Yeah, Freya, go. I promise, Venti. I promise that I'll save you. And your friends. So don't worry. Get some rest. <laughs> All right. Good luck, Freya. I'm going to rest a bit. <laughs> yeah, you need it. You were dying for a while. Just wait a little longer, Venti. I'll save you for sure. Lady Ventuswill. Oh, hey, Arthur. Oh, God. Hold on, I gotta... Pumpkinon's voice kills my throat. Lady Ventuswill! Didn't she wake up? Yeah, she... Don't worry, she's resting again, but it's just for a moment. Oh, my. Huh, I see. How is she? Is she all right? Well, I can't say anything for sure yet, but she seems to be feeling better than she was before, so... Oh, Vilkanon. Oh, Lady Ventus will. Anyway, I'm heading to the tower now, so I'll leave Venti to you all. Tower? You mean Leon Karnak? I seem to recall that it's quite impossible to get inside. It's completely sealed off. Huh? Well, we haven't gotten that far ahead. I was just determined. <laughs> Miss Freya, you're being quite disruptive. <laughs> so are you, Vilkanon. Well. <sighs> Both of you keep quiet. She's gonna wake up and scream at all. Actually, no, she snores. We're fine. <sighs> at least we didn't wake her up. Um, since everyone's waiting, let's go outside. Okay. What? Uh, hey. Okay, well, I wanted to take a moment to pull up the cat pictures, but I guess we're gonna do this then. Hello, everyone. Um, okay, so why is everybody here and is... I don't think I saw Doug. <laughs> we heard that Lady Ventusville has woken up, so we rushed over. You're not the only one worried about her, yes? Yeah, you're right. So, Freya, about Leon Karnak. <sighs> you were saying it's sealed off, right? Yes. A while ago, a mysterious gate appeared there. The gate has grown so large, it shrouded the whole tower. <sighs> and within it, the air is... Well, the royal capital warns not to go near it, as it's extremely dangerous. What? Oh, so it's like, um, Eternal Darkness or whatever from the fifth game. Why are you going there exactly? To help Venti. By placing... <sighs> what is... It's a rune sphere. Okay, so we're just taking the full mask off. <laughs> sure. I guess we'll just tell everyone the big secret that Venti has been hiding for years. So much so that she has opted a whole other persona around these folks. Anyway, it's a rune sphere. If I take this to the tower, I should be able to save Venti with it. Really? Yeah, really. Yes, this stone will take the place of a guardian, and, um... How do I explain this to the other two guardians that are standing there? <laughs> yes, is something the matter? It's just that... <sighs> I feel kind of weird revealing everything that Venti's been hiding from you all of this time. I'm curious, how exactly would that stone save the dragon? You said it takes the place of a guardian, but what does that mean? Ah, uh, well, 
Um, I can't explain everything in detail yet. But I need you all to trust me. Yes. Without question. God, Arthur. <sighs> You're competing for my heart. <laughs> what? Of course. Uh, Vishnu. <laughs> How can we not trust you when you've asked us to do so? Vishnu. <laughs> Sweetie. You're just killing me a little bit here. All right. It's part of a butler's duty to trust his master. Well, hold up. Wait. I should warn you all. Um, I'm not actually the princess that you thought I was. That's really Arthur. But I'm really not going to say anything because Arthur doesn't want to be treated like the prince. But whatever. I trust you. I've only ever heard honesty in your voice. Oh. Thanks, Margaret. Let's all figure out a way to solve this. Yep. Yeah, we want to help you. Oh, thank you guys. My heart. Hmm. If the story about the gate is true, does that mean that the tower beyond it is the Forest of Beginnings? What? Yes. Yes, that's what the researchers at the Capitol had concluded. It seems that inside the tower has virtually fused with the Forest of Beginnings. How do I get there then? Something inside is causing an imbalance in the rooms. Fusing parts of the tower with the forest and separating the two with a large imposing gate. That's why simply destroying the gate isn't an option. Unless the underlying cause is eliminated, it'll just reappear once more. The cause behind the imbalance in the runes... Oh, it must be the Guardian. So, the Forest of Beginnings is within the tower, then? Yes. I see. That means... Well... Can't you just break a huge gate and enter the Forest of Beginnings directly? <laughs> oh, Keel's the best. You know, by using the power that's released when the gate breaks? Oh, I see. I don't really get it. I might have told you before... But gates are passages leading out from the Forest of Beginnings. When a gate either breaks or disappears, there's a slight power that's drawn towards the forest. If it's just a regular gate, it's only strong enough to draw out small monsters. But when that... But when the... Oh, well, words are hard. But when the gate is that big, it can be a totally different story. Okay, so if I break the gate in Leon Karnak, the energy output may be large enough to turn the whole tower into the Forest of Beginnings. And you might have a chance of getting in. Ah! But then there wouldn't be any way for you to get back. Oh. I've never heard of anyone that's returned from the Forest of Beginnings. Oh, that's true. Actually, I have. Arthur, that doesn't shock me. Okay, so who did it? Several years ago, one person made it back from the Forest of Beginnings. I don't know the details, as I merely overheard the story at the Royal Capital. I wonder if it was another Earthmate. Vishtal! <laughs> well then, let's all try and figure it out. Our mission is to come up with a way to return from the Forest of Beginnings. Vishnu taking charge. This is the character arc he needed. <laughs> so that we can help Lady Ventusville. Oh, Vishnu. Huh, that's true. There's no use standing here. Oh, I'll, I'll go search the documents in my room. Do it. Uh, let me help you, Velcanon. Oh. Hmm. I'll try writing a letter to my hometown. Maybe we can hear a different story from the elves. Brilliant plan, Margaret. I knew I liked you. Leave it to me. I'll go do some research, too. It's time to sh for me to show how capable I am as a detective. Watch Miss Illuminata solve this mystery. Yay! I'll help. All right. I'm so proud of you okay. all. Hmm. I'll go ask the customers in town. I'm sure we'll find a solution, yes? 
Bye, Xiao Pai. You sweetie. Hmm. Then why don't I cook for everyone? And what, then eat it all yourself? But I appreciate the gusto. Hmm. I can inspire you with my delectable dishes. Right. Sure, Dillis. I'll lend you a hand, Porcelain. Proud of you. Dillis doing friendship. I'm so proud they're growing up so quick. No, hold on, I gotta... That was a lot of voices in one quick succession. Everyone loves Lady Ventuswill so much. It makes me happy, too. Alright, time to get serious and start searching. Blossom, where I have full faith Blossom's coming back with the answer. <laughs> hmm, yes. We have to do what we can as well. <laughs> Absolutely, let's give this our best shot. What, what are you guys going to find in medical records? Maybe maybe whoever it was came back and had to go to the hospital? I don't know. Hmm. I'll do more research on the Forest of Beginnings. Don't worry. I'll make sure you safely return to this town. Oh, God bless, Keel. Allow me to help as well, Keel. Great. Oh. <laughs> guys. I'll contact the capital. Freya, please wait for us. We promise to figure out a way for you to return from the Forest of Beginnings. Okay. Thank you so very much. <laughs> I'm so touched. Thank you, everyone. Right? And my axe. Uh, Freya! Freya! Clorica? Whoa! Hey, where were you guys? We heard about everything. You're trying to figure out how to return from the Forest of Beginnings, right? So you can help Lady Ventus, Will? Well, I want to help you out as best as I can. So there must be a way to come back. God, Corica, I think this is the longest conversation I've had with you where you didn't pass out on me. Proud of you. Whoa. Bato. I can't just slack off like I do with my store now, can I? Oh my god, Bato's actually working on something. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm gonna have a stroke on premise. Alright. I'm going to go help Zhao and ask around. I'll do my part, though I'm not sure how much help I'll be. I mean, you were a guardian, so maybe there's something like at your old place you used to guard? Then let's try and save Venti. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, with everyone working together, how can we lose? I mean, I guess if I go attack it on my own. Um. Now, where did she get to? Good luck. Right? I have a feeling this is just going to involve... Okay, hello. Well. Hmm. The Forest of Beginnings. There's not much data referring to the Forest of Beginnings. But rest assured, I promise I'll find another way to return from that forest for you. Oh. 